Mike Shermer from News OK here with Hubert Anium. Hubert, what's it like to be injured? Uh, <laughs> it's pretty much unexplainable. I mean, being injured is, is, is especially when it's, when it's an injury that you can actually walk to the store. You walk to the store with, go to a Walmart grocery store and just be walking and seeing people seeing you looking healthy, but you're not really healthy. I mean, especially being re-injured at the wide receiver position and the cuts that you make at it being a wide receiver, it's unbelievable cuts. You got to stick your feet in the ground. You got to be balanced. You have to have good footwork and you have to be smart. And as well as that's not counting taking a hit playing football. So being, I mean, being especially with my my injury that I had, I mean, it was it was very hard for me to come back. It took a lot of rehab, and I mean, I got came back rehabbed, went rehab strong, sat out the first couple of games, came back against Tulsa, had a pretty good game, went to, played A and M, had a good game, and went on uh, went to a game in Lafayette, Louisiana, and ended up getting injured again, got a high ankle sprain. And that injury just set me back five times worse than my last injury because my last injury just put me out, put me out. I had, that was an injury I never expected. I had that surgery for the first time in my life it's on my foot that I used to run routes with. And, I mean, it just set me back. My high ankle sprain was just a very severe high, high ankle sprain. I mean, it took I, – I, I came back 80% against Kansas, Texas, and didn't play good against OU because of my injury, and I mean, it just hurt. My team was being, my team was, our team was successful without, without me, and I loved it, I loved watching him, love Blackman progress. He had a beautiful, great season, won the Belen Lakoff Award. I'm so proud of him. Other receivers showed up, Josh Cooper, Bo Bolin, Tracy Moore, Mike Harrison played, by, played at the X behind me, stepped up, Isaiah Anderson. I mean, everybody just came together. We all had a, we all had our ups and downs, and all our receivers came together and rallied up and had a good season. I mean, I, I was sad and hurt that I wasn't there to be able to play with them 100% during the bowl game, wasn't 100%, but I mean, at least I was there, played on the field with them, and I loved it. And just being hurt, just it, it's kind of unexplainable, especially whenever you come off a sophomore season of being the leading receiver, and then you come back expected to have a better season than before and get hurt. It just kind of sets you back a lot, and kind of what makes you wish that you, you just, just makes you want to just think 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 thinking of thinking a better thought of whenever whenever you like take st don't take stuff for granted don't take stuff for granted thinking a better thought whenever you're being successful thinking a better thought that just thank god of what you got what you did and everything just not being uh uprising about what you have done just hope that you finish that finish your career have a good career especially when you want to play on the next level and, um i mean me finishing the season last year with my team was just, it was a great thing. And me coming back right now, had good summer ethics, good, good summer workouts. And these first two a day, these first couple of two a days, I've been, been on the same page of weed and been running good routes, crisp, crisp routes, and I just feel good. And I'm just happy that I'm back with my team and ready to play another season. It sounds like this may have changed you as much mentally as it did physically. Um, it did. I mean, it made, made me a better person. Now, I mean, I look back and all the progress I had before, all the success I had before, and everything that I did before, I just now I just look back and just feel like I just say it's nothing. I just put everything behind me and start off new. I mean, just being being injured made me sit in my room. There were some days I sit in my room, just think about think about all the stuff that I did before and how how I can make stuff better. And when I get back on my feet, what I'm not gonna do, what I'm gonna do, being smart as a person, it made me better as a man as well. I mean, being being injured, it. it it, it, it's, it's, it's really a mind thing. I mean, people can tell you you can play. People can do this for you, tell you this, this, and that. But I mean, in the end, if you can't play, you can't play. And, and I played 80 percent of this. I played 80 percent last year, and didn't really wasn't really successful for my team. But I plan on being successful as uh, successful at 100 percent this year. Who helped you through this? Uh, my coach, Coach Brewer. He uh, he's at Ole Miss right now. He helped me through it. I mean, he talked to me. Helped me through it. Tell me anything I need. To just he'll he'll be there. He'll help me. He was a great coach. I loved I loved him for that. Him, his wife, they helped me. Their family. Coach Gundy stuck with me through it. He believed in me. I mean, he threw me out there, even knowing I was even knowing I wasn't 100. percent But he knew that he he knew that I could help the team as as best as possible. So he threw me out there. Let me play. Let me run on it. And didn't didn't really just push me push me to the extent where. I get hurt again. Just he knew my boundaries. He let me play, and I thank him for that. And I love him for that. And it, um, even my uh, players. I mean, they were out around me. They they were with me. They stuck with me. Stuck through with me out through all the pains and stuff. I mean, I just I, I loved everybody on our staff for what they did. And now I'm back this season, and everybody has the same confidence as they had with me last year. And they plan on they plan on seeing me having a good season. 
how do you feel uh, you're ready to get back out there physically, and what are the fans going to see from Hubert Anium this season? Uh, <laughs> I don't want to uh, say too much, but, I mean, I, I can tell you this. I'm going to give 100%. I'm, any, anything you see my sophomore year, I'm trying to double that. I'm trying to do my best to beat every team. I'm trying to I'm, – I'm, I'm coming back 110%. I mean, it's not even – it's not – I can't even talk about what I, what I plan on doing this season. I plan on just – Whenever, whenever, obviously, black men, black men has that has that uh, target on his head with defenses rolling to his side, and I plan on me and other receivers being open and just us making plays and just having fun out there. Do you ever let yourself look at the season Justin Blackman had last year and think that might have been me? I mean, uh, of course, when you get injured and you see another uh, person successful on the field, you're, you're like, wow. I mean, look, look at this, and, and I'm seeing me sitting here, but. It's not. That's not what it's about. I mean, I love. Whenever black men had all the success, I loved. I loved it. I watched it, and it was. It was so exciting because of the previous year. Black men had what twenty catches, and now he has twenty uh, receptions for touchdowns. And now I'm looking at him like, okay, he, he he's he's expanded his game. He's made his game. That just makes me get better. That makes me want to be a better player. It makes me want to maybe makes me want to get to his get to his level. I mean, I, he has good work ethic. He works hard, and he deserves everything he did. And I just just looking at it like that is not a good way to look at. it. I look at it as just we have another we have another explosive player on the team. Black men's on that side, on the right side, I'm on the left side. We're gonna go out there, we're gonna play football. We got inside receivers, we got running backs, we got a good squad, we got a squad that can win it all this year. We just gotta go out there and play football. Thank you, Hubert. Yeah.